what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We have a woman standing outside of a venue talking to a cop who should be on duty. He has his full uniform on, got the badge and the gun and all that kind of stuff, but he's kind of just kicking it and he's preoccupied with feeling on the woman's booty. Now, listen, fam, this is how people get hurt. The police supposed to be working. He's supposed to be controlling the crowd, making sure ain't nobody coming in with weapons and trying to run up and kill everybody and all that kind of stuff. But instead of him doing his job, he's feeling on this woman's booty. It's uncalled for. This is sexual harassment. He should be jailed. That's right. I think he should be jailed. Totally violated the woman's civil rights. When we say defund the police, fam. Why do we need this guy? Why do we need that guy? You know, that's what we're talking about. Those types, man. We don't need all these guys, man. This guy's just standing there. He's useless. Getting free money. Playing with that woman booty. That's not right. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Ah, oh, man, you hating. Willie D, you hating, man, you hating. How am I hating? This guy took an oath to uphold the law, to protect the citizens of America. And he's out here standing in line, filling on some woman's booty. That's against the law, fam. That is against the law, see? Cops break the law all the time and hardly anything ever happens. It is the most hypocritical thing to me. Let that be you or I and he would have been trying to put us in jail. This is why y'all shouldn't be in the comments trying to ride for this sucker. Some of y'all in there riding for him. He wouldn't ride for y'all. If you was that same dude trying to fill on the woman, he would have put you in jail. Now, some of you, well, you know, well, she looked like she flirting with him and she okay with it. Nah, she not okay with it. She probably scared to death. This is a cop. She don't let him feel on her booty. He might put her in jail. Might make life hard for her. We don't know if he know her outside of that nightlife atmosphere. Perhaps she's a compromised woman of the night. We don't know. So I have to take the side of the protective citizen, the good Samaritan. That's all I'm trying to do, fam. I'm trying to be a good Samaritan here. And I believe that cop should be treated just like anybody else. That was uncalled for. I don't want to hear nothing where, you know, cops are people too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are they people too or are they cops? Because, you know, they got a Whole, when you talk about cops, there's a whole different discussion about cops and the pressure that they're under and, and how they have to do their job and how they should be protected more than everybody else. But then when it comes to getting freaky and feeling on some woman's booty, it's, well, you know, cops, people too. He's just a man. Nah, he's a cop with a cape, that gun and that badge gives him uh, a sense of, of, uh, of being some type of hero or something. So that elevates him to a different level. He's not like you are. No, he's not like you are. He's a cop. And he should be held to a higher standard. I say lock him up. To that young woman who was in that video, you got yourself a case of harassment. We will stand by you. If that's what you decide to do, then we are right there with you. I'm here. I'm here for you. I ride with you. I ride with you. Not trying to ride on you like he did. Out of line. 
So I want to let y'all know right now, fam, if y'all see a cop out there trying to feel on a woman's booty, report him. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?